guys, so we were testing today a uh, Venom Tactical Rifle Dynamics uh, brake. This is probably one of the most expensive uh, brakes on the market. Uh, it is in that uh, $200 uh, range, it's below $200 on par with the Battle Camp. And uh, this is the high-end brake. Uh, one thing which I will tell you right away, right off the bat, you basically are getting two brakes uh, in one cage. So there is like an insert uh, inside uh, the, the brake which uh, shapes, uh, the way how the holes are shaped there, uh, it kind of pulls the rifle slightly away from you and then you got that outside shell with the shark ribs which pulls the rifle back to you. And uh, the way, at least this is how I feel uh, when I'm shooting this, uh, this rifle with, uh, with that brake. Uh, I think it's a very clever design, uh, that's, that's something definitely unique, uh, I have never seen something like this done before, usually you got the brake and it's just the one piece of the equipment with the holes in it, so it's a totally different design. Uh, the brake's got the little notch cut out, so there is no problem securing it to the front post, uh, you don't have to use any washers or anything, it sits really nicely, no problem with the installation. Uh, it shouldn't take any longer than uh, you know 60 seconds and you should be done with it. Now, the question is, compared to the battle camp, which brake performs better? There is no question in my mind that the uh, Venom uh, Antidote uh, is, is performing better. So you got the much better control uh, over the rifle recoil and you can manage, you know, you can keep the rounds going on target. Uh, it's a very, very pleasant surprise. There is absolutely no kick on the rifle. Uh, Battle Camp was doing very well too, but I will give it a slight edge to the Venom Antidote uh, uh, in, in this department. We also did with uh, Paul the Dark Room test, and uh, you can see how this brake is performing in the Dark Room. Uh, there is a signature uh, visible, there, there are some flames coming out. Uh, but again, you know, it is a primary a muzzle brake, it, it is not the flesh hider, so I wasn't surprised by it, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. I'm, I'm telling you guys, it's always a compromise. You got either an excellent muzzle brake, which is going to, to control your muzzle rise very well, or you have an outstanding flesh hider, and it's hard to combine these two into one. So. Uh, Going to that department, the Venom uh, Antidote uh, it produced some, uh, some flash signature. Not much, but it is there. Also, for the sight uh, wave pressure test, uh, you're going to feel it uh, when you are standing next to the rifle with that brake. Uh, so again, uh, just be aware if you are running that, that brake with the teammates, uh, if, if you're if you practicing in the team, especially during the CQBs, uh, be aware of it that uh, if someone is standing next to you, you know, he's going to feel it. So, uh, hey, respect each other, respect your teammates and uh, muzzle awareness, guys. So, uh, keep that, got that muzzle away from, from someone's head. Other than this, I, I think so. it's an excellent break. Uh, again, guys, uh, you are faced with the, with the challenge question, what is the most important factor for you? Uh, what you are looking for. Are you looking for the muzzle control or you are looking for the flesh height? Uh, so everyone should answer that question to yourself uh, and uh, come up with the solution. Uh, if you uh, continue in the competitive shooting, uh, if you are looking for, for, for a muzzle device which is going to keep that muzzle on target all the time, this is the break for you. Uh, if you are more concerned with, uh, with uh, operating in the darkness and uh, you are concerned with the flash, uh, that's probably not the muzzle device for you. So as I said, uh, be smart about it, try to think how you're going to deploy and use your rifle and uh, make, a, make that decision uh, based on this. On that note, uh, it's fairly easy, you can change those muzzle devices on AK rifles, there is nothing really magical about it. So uh, maybe you can have the, the Venom Antidote uh, for like, you know, day operations and then when you are going to the night mode, you can switch to the flesh hider. Uh, that's something to think about it too. Okay, that's it guys. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, either underneath of that video or on our Facebook page. Thank you for watching.